Hello and welcome to this video on music production techniques for compression. I'm going to be using the Audio Gear Obsession Dynamic Engine Eurorack module, but you can apply these ideas and techniques in hardware, software or modular gear. Let's check out what's to come. This Sunday, 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 sports ball team. Front, I'd like to thank Audio Gear Obsession for sponsoring this video. Now the Dynamic Engine is a dual compressor that's fully balanced for studio integration, but you can patch it as a Eurorack module, and we're going to check out lots of ways to use compression in this video. I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters up front, as this video is a community project. I opened up the opportunity for people to submit their audio, so I could have a wider range of audio to work with in this video. The Patreon supporters audio is credited on screen, and there's links to all of those in the description too. Now Audio Gear Obsession say the unit has been designed to sweep from a delicate compressor to a brick wall limiter, delivering airy and punchy analog compression. We can apply parallel compression, it's been engineered to deliver the lowest noise possible, and it implements a proprietary compression technique based on a triple VCA setup that delivers no compromised performance and they say the dynamic engine makes compression fun as hell. I'll throw the technical features up on screen so you can check out some of those, but to kind of quantify the engineering involved, it's that proprietary triple VCA technique, top quality that corp VCA chips, modern audio grade op amps, thin film resistors, Weimer and Panasonic caps, and a four layer PCB designed for the best noise reduction. This is a 28 HP Eurorack module and it's GIF friendly. Now I won't go into how compression works in this video, there's lots of great videos for the basics of compression on the internet. You can go find some and maybe let me know ones that you like in the comments. So if you've an idea of what compression is, let's jump into some patches and explore these studio style production techniques. So here I'm using one side of Dynamic Engine to compress my beats, the other to tight chain the bass, all just adding excitement, some nice parallel compression there as well. Let's mute a few things and check out what's going on. So here's my drums in this right hand side, I'm using a blend of the dry wet for some parallel New York style compression, as I keep doing, standard kind of music making technique or production studio technique. Here the sound is bypassed, I'll just level match this a bit better engaged again and you can hear all of that punch that's being added here's fully wet nice tight spanky smacky kind of snare sound now the bass it's just been ducked and i'm using the trigger here rather than the bass drum sound itself just putting the trigger that's triggering the kick straight in bypassed with the drums back in it's fine, it works, but it just doesn't have that life and energy that the side chain does. So this audio from making sound machines, I'm using this as a dual mono compressor. Left hand side is catching the kicks, set up with a really high threshold as a limiter. Bypass these and then engage it. See and hear that reacting to the kick, allowing me to bring the level up slightly. Just shaving off those peaks as a harder limiter. And then this side is just dancing around into really soft compression. 
Just kind of massaging the audio gently, helping raise the level and smooth everything out. So compression for bass guitar is a really standard technique. As an instrument, it really benefits from some smoothing out with some compression. Have some lighter kind of dynamic control on the left side, going in series one channel into the other for some harder parallel compression. And that's also helping to even out the sound when I hit these Yoro Racks effects that I'll blend in. So listening to the clean bass sound, here it is bypassed. And with longer attack and release times, not too high of a ratio, soft knee and some filtering of that side chain so the low end doesn't hit it too hard. That's a few dB of kind of dynamic management, evening out my playing, add some weight and clarity to that bass. This then goes in series to this compressor, which I'll make fully wet. Much heavier, faster compression, hard knee, limiting ratio. It's quite an intense sound. But backing that off, here's no parallel compression on that second stage. And then adding it in, it's a lot of extra oomph and weight that going back into these effects blended with the clean tone just for some fun now here we have a little Lydian shuffle Jamie Liddell's shuffling 808s here's the sound bypassed and I'm chaining the channels here into the left hand compressor coming out into the right and then out again to record in mono I'm using the first compressor just for a little bit of tightening up softer compression and then heavy hard parallel compression on the right hand side. Here's this left hand side, we'll leave this on bypass on the right. Soft knee, fairly generous attack and release times, lower ratios, some side chain filtering which I'll come to in a second, fully wet. with the sidechain cutoff filtering, we can filter out that low end in the detection circuit, affecting how much of it comes through the compressor. Move on to this parallel compression, hard knee, limiting ratios, faster attack times, really aggressive. And it's super fast aggressive compression and just a little bit of it goes a long way in adding weight compared to that bypass sound. So here's a patch where we're going to look at side chaining and a really great production trick for making room for bigger ambient effects that may otherwise drown out your mix. Now the dynamic engine is processing my reverb. Here's the dry sound nothing to do with the compressor. And that's feeding a mono send into a reverb here, big effects edge stereo reverb, into the dynamic engine, and the two sides of my original dry mono sound are coming into the side chain. So if I set this with some really heavy compression, boost up those side chain gains, What you can see is happening is each time a note plays on each side, it ducks down the compression, which is ducking the reverb and letting that swell back up. And this is a really over-egged, over-exaggerated example, but this is this kind of studio production tip where you side chain a big ambient effects chain against the dry sound. So each little pluck and hit ducks the reverb, making sure it comes through cleanly, and then the reverb can come back up again. 
just set this more conservatively again. So here I'm looking at audio from Get Still. I'm looking at more subtle compression, but just ways of gaining volume and energy. Only going to a few dB of reduction, but listen to the kick and snare. This is bypassed. More volume, more energy. Bypass again. More snap on that snare. And very subtle things are hard to do on YouTube. But I hope that's coming across. A few dBs of compression, quite open attack and release times, I think quite slow times. Now I couldn't make this demo without just kind of smashing some waveform through this thing. And as you can see in here, it's absolutely smashing this wavetable. Here's the raw sound. And that's Dimension from Zekiel Electronics. And really, slamming the gain is what's going on here. The compression, of course, ducks the gain. So between these two stages in series, one into the other, we're just reducing distortion. super exposed and I haven't even got my pants down. <laughs> this is the microphone going into the Bufaco instrument interface for 48 volts for this condenser or capacitor microphone and then we're going straight into the dynamic engine so you can hear me compressing a voice. This is me bypassed, this is the sound of my croaky voice today and the microphone. I would normally EQ it and do other things to it but here it is raw and I'm going to do nothing else other than put this compression back on. And you can hear it'll do a super kind of slammed fast radio. This Sunday, 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 sports ball team. Or a lip smacky ASMR thing. I must have wet lips today because I sound super lip smacky in my headphones. But backing off this aggressive compression, we can get something much, much softer and nice for a microphone. Just catching some peaks, maybe rounding out the tone generally and just shaping the sound. Thought you might like to hear a voice through the compressor. So with CK's audio here, it was about just trying to pull as much energy out of this patch as I could. There'd be other EQ and elements going on in this kind of context for producing up a beat or a patch. But I've gone for really heavy compression. Here it is fully wet. Way over the top. That's the dry sound. But then blending this in, mainly dry. The amount of energy that adds. So here we're looking at blooming low end. We're side chaining the Lyra 8, making it bloom against the kick. And the compression I'm doing on the drums on the right hand side here, so this is a dual mono setup, is giving this kind of blooming low end kick. Now here's the beat bypassed. A bit more aggression and snap on that snare. And that kick kind of goes boom. Hits, sucks and kind of blooms again. Here it is bypassed. And active. Kind of impact smack and low end bloom. Now the side chaining of the Lyra, really aggressive. It's 
So again, kind of making this low end bloom. And it's just a nice noisy example of the lyre against the beat. So this is a deliberately rubbish, ultra naff recording. <laughs> Feels silly to say, this is my phone recording me playing the guitar and it's the phone's microphone picking up the guitar. Here it is raw. And there's some weird chattering and oddness from it being the phone's microphone, it's not even a decent room microphone. But the idea was to take this rubbish room recording and see if with compression and two stages of it one into the other, we can get something serviceable that would blend in with a nice direct microphone or a direct output from an acoustic instrument. I think it works. It certainly brings out a lot of life in a really bad recording. So here's some non-user friendly quick play on words because his audio is from user friendly as credited on screen and in the description heavy limiting for some really intense audio i bypass and unbypass and indicate that on screen so it's really clear it's just managing the dynamics of this really intense patch recording So here I'm using the dynamic engine, parallel compression, to play around with this really distressed, heavily compressed version of the DFAM. And here's the dry DFAM sound, just going fully dry on that mix. Now it's quite clicky, lots of low end pressure, and here's the distressed, I'll turn off sidechain filtering, distressed, heavily compressed, fast attack and release times, kind of nasty compression, which is what I was looking for. Now blending this in in parallel, so going fully dry, and then adding some of this character from pushing this arguably too far. There's this little kind of fizz and fuzz on the low end. And just more kind of clicky, poppy, transient rich behavior. So here's some audio from Cuba. And I'm looking at more subtle parallel compression. Looking at just adding some energy, pulling this reverb up, some of the quieter sounds. That's fully wet. It's over compressed, so just bringing that in parallel. Subtle, but doing the job of just lifting kind of energy in the beat. So thanks to my Patreon supporters that submitted audio for this project. And not just the ones that are in this edit of the video, but everyone that sent in audio for me to check out and try out with the compressor. If you'd like to be involved in community projects like this and you'd like to support my work, the Patreon link is on screen and in the description below. So thanks for checking out this video. Let me know your favorite patches and examples and maybe let me know anything you'd like to see in the future regarding compressors and generally modular and studio patch techniques. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, usual stuff. See you next time. Bye.